York City Mayor Eric Adams hammering the Biden administration. Our cities are being undermined, and we don't deserve this. Migrants don't deserve this. And the people who live in the cities don't deserve this. We expect more from our national leaders to address this issue in a real way. During his visit to El Paso, Texas, Adams calling the migrant wave a national crisis, describing migrants sleeping on the streets with shelters overflowing there, very similar to what's happening in New York City. This is a beautiful city. Praise Yahweh, Shem and Shabbat Shemur, Kakadash, double honors to the elders, double honors to the elders and apostles, and the men and truth on down. Regarding this truth and knowledge, and the white Yahweh, Shem and Shabbat, putting the spear of the elders and apostles, men and truth on down, regarding this truth and knowledge. So we know this truth and knowledge, call holy, oh Yahweh, Shem and Shabbat Shemur, Kakadash, give all praise Yahweh, Shem and Shabbat Shemur, Kakadash. That was the Scripps News report relating to the migrant crisis situation. Um, Mayor uh, Eric Davis is calling it a national crisis, a nice, um, state of emergency regarding that. Eric Adams, Sherlock. Eric Adams, Mayor er Eric Adams, he's calling it a, a national emergency, a state of emergency regarding uh, pretty much the influx of uh, the migrants coming into his city, New York, and various others where they pretty much can't handle it from, um, you know, economical aspect is costing. So, so he's saying it's a major crisis that uh, the government needs to seriously address. That's Eric Adams, mayor, because he visited down El Paso with mayors down, you know, different mayors across the country. And he was talking about that. That um, the government is um, not doing enough to address that migrant issue, man. Huh? The migrant, um, the migrant issue. Yeah. Um, let's get um, get a few, get a quick scripture, real quick. It's not long. And this is a major issue. They're not going to really address it because you know it's, a, it's political. It's politics. You know what I mean? So they kind of like song and dance with it, man. You know? It's like fighting tooth and nail, you know? 
This is Deuteronomy 28 and um, 13. Let's see. 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. So whether in the field or in the city, you're going to be a curse, man. It's going to be a curse. These are laced to the curses, man. So wherever they go, whether it's the city or the field, the land, you know, it's going to be a curse to them, man. This relates to the curses, man. This relates to a certain people that affects specifically. Twenty-eight and twenty-nine. Thou shalt grope at noonday in the as the blind grope of in darkness, man. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled every more. And no man shall save thee. So you're going to have problems, you know, where you go, man. You know, and you're not going to prosper in the way that it should be, man. So, and none can save thee, man. You know, so that's what that is. That's 28 and 29. Go to... Um, Go to 20, 28 and 49. The Lord shall bring bring a nation upon thee from afar and the end of the earth as swift as an eagle fly of a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. So the language you're not going to understand. A place you've never been at. You're not familiar with. A nation of fierce countenance which is appearance which shall not regard persons of old nor shoot favor to the young. So they're, gonna, they're not going to shoot favor or have respect to persons regarding young or old, man. And that nation is the one in position of power, man. Twenty-eight and forty-nine. Sixty-five. Among these nations thou shalt find no ease. Neither shall thou saw thy feet have rest, but the Lord shall give give thee a trembling heart, which is a mind, failing eyes, and a sorrow of mind. So wherever they go, like I said, that scripture talks about twenty eight and sixteen. Thou shalt be a curse in a city or field and for the migrants. It's a big exodus. Exodus is a a, a a mass departure, man. So you see, in a mass departure from South America, areas of Europe, and different places. Even the uh, Middle East coming, you know, through these on uh, the borders, man, from all different areas, African countries. So um, wherever they go, man, they're going to have complications, man. So whether it's in the city or in the field, man, and that's what you're seeing, man. So they trying to escape a place that was cursed with, for example, violence, um, poverty. Um, poverty, violence, financial ruin to come to another place where they're not familiar with to um, to all, uh, to um, face an, uh, all all set of uh, to face a new set of challenges and um, and um, challenges and complications, man. So they not getting rest, man. Wherever they go, man. And that's part of the curses, man. Let's go to um, one more. More of all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee until thou dis be destroyed because thou hearkenest not into the voice of the Lord thy God and to keep his commandments and the statutes which he, command he commanded thee, man. So that's just the reason, man. The scripture talks about what, sec um. 2 Maccabees 7 and 32 We suffer because of our sins And there are Israelites that come in They ignore the tribe So they're suffering much What? Ultimately because of their sins Their disobedience That sins less to their disobedience to the Lord So certain certain um, oppositional um, 
traits or complications they have to deal with, man, because of ultimately sin, because they suffer because of their sins, man. So they have to go through different adversities, man. You know what I mean? Because ultimately they're disobedience to the Lord. They're the northern tribe. Go to um, parts of the northern tribe, man. The, the um, Hispanic and they the northern tribes, man. Um, go to um, Jeremiah 50 and 33. GNT, which is part of the 12 tribe sign, which is um, um, Ezekiel 37, the two sticks, the northern, the southern tribe. Judah, Benjamin, and um, the Levites, and the northern tribes are Ephraim on down, man. They're the two sticks, the two sticks that make what? That one nation, which is the nation of Israel. Man. This is. Um, Jeremiah 50 and 33 and the Lord Almighty says the people of Israel of this is the GNT which is good news translation the Lord Almighty says the people of Israel in of Judah are oppressed that's the northern and southern tribe all who capture them are guarding them closely so they're keeping them they're keeping them they're keeping them tightly by man they're not letting them go Guarding them is watching them. They watch them carefully, man. Read that again. And the Lord Almighty said, The people of Israel in of Judah are oppressed. All who capture them are guarding them closely and will not let them go. And that's these other nations. It's specifically the chieftain of the nations relating to go to Genesis 36, relating to the descendants of Edom, man. Starting with them. Number 34. But the one who will rescue them is strong. His name is the Lord Almighty. Ultimately, his Yahweh Shai, man, because the power is decreed to Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son, through the Father, man, by the Father, to the Son. He himself will take up their cause and will bring peace to the earth. Scripture talks about the one will be one will set that's uh one who set one who's profitable that's um ecclesiastic of so rock 10 and 4 will bring peace to the earth but trouble to the people of babylonia so trouble to the people of babylon which would be egypt man which is the land of ashar um asharoth the land of the north which is uh america man scripture says um um not going to be redeemed, man. You're not going to be redeemed. Only Yahweh can re redeem you, man. You know? So, this is bondage, man. So, they're trying to escape one place of bondage to the freedom cells and another place of bondage and still be in captivity. Because you can't, you know I mean? They're still in captivity, man. They're just moving. They're trying to emancipate from one place to another, man. That's all they doing, man. The mass he's mean for moving one from one entity, basically to an, another entity, man. But still under form of subjection and uh, subjugation, man. <clears throat> the word Exodus definition: a mass departure of people, especially immigrants, immigrants, immigrants of the Israelites from Egypt. Now it goes to that being um, exiled, exiled, and eventually scattered. Man. That's what that is. So that mass exodus is coming. It's pretty much a mass departure of an influx of people coming to what? What you see now, America, man. That's why you see in the um, variety of people. In these other countries, because Israelites are scattered among these other nations, as I was stating earlier, so you, you see in that, and that's and that's spiritually symbolic because the Lord is bringing, uh, relating to uh, Jeremiah 50 and 33, both the northern and southern tribe will be uh, in captivity together in the land of the north together, man. So you see in the Exodus come up, man. So that being said, I uh, hope this helps in some way. This is something short. I want to give all praise, y'all. Bashim, Yashim, Bashim, This is Zayab Wolf, y'all.